So today what I want to demonstrate to you is how to um, run a query in Access Databases. OK, uh, so let me just share my screen. First of all, I'm going to open my database, so into my Start menu and Access. And it's the most recent one I have here, my practice one. OK, so OK, update just now. Patient information, remember, this is the table of all our information. So remember, we have each row is an individual record relating to somebody, and each column is what we call a field of information. OK, so all four names, all dates of birth and such like. Okay. So what I want to do to start with is go into my design view. Design view. I'm going to add in an extra field of information here, COVID. COVID vaccine, who's going to get a COVID vaccine in the first round okay, of vaccinations? So over here, rather than short text, I don't want to type in yes or no all the time. So what I will do is go here and I will go to yes, no. Okay, I'm going to save my work so far, save that. And then I'm going to come back to my data sheet view, my table view, so I can enter information. And here I can quite easily tick that Captain Clennon and Abby Moir is getting, uh, they're both getting their vaccine. Cameron and Violetta are not. At the moment, it's still writing, so Control S, save and update. Okay, so this is my record, uh, this is my updated patient information. I have here, yes, Kath and Abby are getting the vaccine at the moment, Cameron and Violetta are not. What I want to do now is to create a query. So I go to create, OK, and I'm going to use Query Wizard because that makes it much easier to follow the wizard. So query Wizard. And at this stage, I'm only going to do a simple query. OK, what I really want to do is find out if I had hundreds of patients on here, find out which patients want to be in or are going to be in the first round of vaccinations. So simple Query Wizard. OK, it's asking me which available fields do I want to put over? Yes, I can put all of these over at the moment. I could choose just the patient number, just four name, date of birth, etc. But in fact, I'll take patient number out. I'll put all the others in and patient number I'll take back out. OK, so it'll just have to give me four name, date of birth, surname, COVID vaccine. There we go. Next. Detailed, I want a level of every record. Yes, I do. I don't just want a summary. So at this moment, I want detail of every record. OK, if I had hundreds and hundreds, then it might just be a summary that I want. Next. Do I want to open the query to view the information or modify the design? I want to modify the design because at this moment in time, I want it just to select those records who have the COVID vaccine ticked. OK, so modify the query design, finish. And we can see this is my design here for my query. And what I want to do, COVID vaccine, yes, I want it, just the ones with it text. So in here, what I do is I type true, OK? Enter, and you can see the sheet comes up here, then tells me that um, it's looking at my query. OK, so that's my query. I want to save that query, so Control S, OK? And what I also want to do now is run my query. So I've designed my query. I want to run my query. And it should, there we go, should just then show me just the patients who are in the first round of COVID vaccine. So those with a true entry, with the entry ticked for COVID vaccine and for um, not showing the patients who haven't got the COVID vaccine ticked, OK? If I want to further amend my query, I could go back in, sit here, patient information query, go back to design view. And what I could also do, another way of running um, some information could be date of birth. I could pick all those who um, have a date of birth more recently than 12th. December 2000. OK, if I press enter, we'll see that little hashtags come up here to make this. OK, so remember you're greater than and less than sign. So this is a less than sign here. We could make it greater than as well. But in this case, I think it should be just the Cotton McLennan one that comes up. So I'm saving this query. OK, control S and run. No, it's Abby Moore. OK, Abby's date of birth is the 1st of January 2000. So that is before, because it's less than, remember, 12, 
December 2000. Okay, so the query, if we go back to look at the query, the date of birth was previous to less than 12 December. Okay, if I was to change this and make it greater than, then it would be the Kath McLennan one coming up. Okay, so greater than, save, run the query, and you can see Kath McLennan's date of birth is 25th of December, so that's greater than 12, 12, 2000, so it's just there. Okay, but at the moment, what I will do is go back into query design, view design. I'm going to take this part of the query out and I'm going to run the report just on those who are in the first round of vaccines. Okay, so save, control S, and run. There we go. Now, in order to print this information, you can imagine if I had hundreds and hundreds of patient records, maybe thousands of patient records within my um, GP surgery, um, I just want to print the information or just generate a, a print for the information. Maybe I want a list so that as people come in to get the vaccine, I can pick the list off. So I just want to print out this information. Okay. What I would do is go to File, Print, and I'll just check my print just now. Preview. Okay, so it showed me my preview there. I'm going to change that to landscape, and there we go. And for your purposes, what you would do then is you would take a screenshot of this, show me the print preview. Okay, show me your print preview and what you have. You would take a screenshot of this. Windows Shift and S. Okay, take a complete screenshot. Go to your brand new Word document. Okay, go to your brand new Word document. Great. Paste that information then. OK, and this is what you would send me to prove to me that you can do this and that you have printed and I can then see the information in here. We've got print preview. I know that you're printing out the patient information query and I can see the records that you printed out. So this is what you would share with me. OK, We're going back into the database just now. That is my patient query information on who is getting COVID vaccines. Okay. And if I come out of the patient query, control S and go back into my table of information about all my customers, all my patients, you can see that they're all still here. Okay, so let's stop sharing the screen and come back. And that's how you design a simple query and select certain information within an access database. Okay. Thank you.